the most dramatically beneficial health foods that exist, and that food is chocolate. Well, the book is written for anyone who's interested in how they can improve their quality of life by eating uh, something that is delicious and that would be beneficial for them. Okay, now you say that chocolate is good for you. Am I hearing you right? Good quality chocolate can be extremely helpful for us. It can improve our health, increase our lifespan, and enhance our quality of life. Can you really lose weight by eating chocolate? Well, this is one of the most surprising facts that my research uh, revealed to me and that I've written about in the book. Why chocolate can cause us to lose weight and specifically to lose body fat and how to do it. So is all chocolate good for us? Chocolate in various forms is either better or worse for our health. Pure chocolate that being made only from the natural uh, products of the cocoa bean is extremely helpful for us. Whereas uh, if we add man-made fats, animal fats, and sugars to it, it becomes less and less healthy for us. Now, my wife is a type 1 diabetic uh, since age 11. Can she eat chocolate? Pure chocolate, chocolate that's had no sugar added to it, is extremely low in carbohydrates, and so any diabetic can eat that kind of an unknown number of natural drug-like substances. And all of these things together can improve many health problems, including, incredibly enough, even diabetes. Now, you use the phrase pure chocolate. That sounds kind of scary. What is pure chocolate? Well, what I'm getting at is this, is that if we take just the initial natural products of the cocoa bean, and Don, those are uh, oils that come out of the bean when it's processed and a powder that we commonly call cocoa powder. When chocolate is made, um, the cocoa powder is recombined with part of the natural oils. If we take just that, it's extremely healthy. So that would be a product that would be, you know, 90 to 100% uh, cocoa. Uh, now, it's very rarely do we actually find that. As they add things to it that dilutes the natural pure chocolate, then they might be diluting the health effects depending on what they add. But basically, we think that if you can find chocolate products that you enjoy that are 60% or greater of cocoa, you're going to have a very healthy product. So is it true that dark chocolate fights cancer? Well, I think this is one of the most unique chapters in my book. It talks about how cancer can be affected by chocolate. And it turns out that many of the natural substances in chocolate, both uh, vitamins, minerals, uh, nutrients, oils, and some of the drugs that are in, in chocolate naturally, actually fights cancer. So in other words, there's scientific evidence that eating high-quality chocolate on a regular basis may diminish our chance of developing cancer, that uh, some of the components of chocolate might actually fight existing cancer. What are some of the other lesser-known benefits of consuming dark chocolate? Some of them would include things like depression. Depression is a very common problem in our society. And incredibly enough, Chocolate contains naturally occurring substances that are like drugs. In other words, it's sort of like having a pharmacy in a food. And two of these are quite powerful. They are PEA and anandamide. These two substances found naturally in chocolate can help minimize depression and elevate the mood. It's one of the reasons that people like to eat chocolate, because not only does it taste good, but it makes a lot of people feel better and feel more energized. What advice would you have for people who might be allergic to chocolate? Well, here's the interesting thing. There are a lot of people who think they're allergic to a lot of different foods. And I think that a lot of people believe that chocolate is an allergenic food. But it turns out the scientific research shows quite the opposite. It's extremely rare for people to be allergic to chocolate itself. If they're allergic to chocolate products, they're usually allergic to something that was added to it, like nuts or fruits or something else. But the chocolate itself is highly unlikely to cause allergies. 
So are there any side effects of consuming chocolate? In general, the side effects are positive. However, there, there's a, certainly the possibility of negative side effects. Chocolate contains a, a very, very small amount of caffeine and a larger amount of a similar uh, natural chemical is associated with romance because it actually has effects in the brain that are similar to falling in love. And likewise, anandamide, another um, strongly effective chemical substance found in chocolate, is similar chemically to the cannabinoids found in marijuana. And so there you go. I mean, look at that. Just those two things alone are known to affect the brain and cause us to, to have the same mental sensations as if we're falling in love. Now, is chocolate good for dogs or not? Well, chocolate's a poison to dogs, and in particular, the theobromine in the chocolate is poisonous to dogs. So this doesn't mean that dogs absolutely can never uh, consume any chocolate, but if you give them too much, it will kill them. So you have to be careful. In my book, I actually talk about an interesting story uh, concerning Winston Churchill's dog and how when he went to the veterinarian, the veterinarian discovered he had health problems because Winston Churchill was treating him with chocolates. What's the most unusual chocolate dish you've ever had? Well, you know, I've been trying many, many different sorts of chocolate f uh, dishes and foods made of, with a chocolate because it's so healthy for me. But I think the one I like the best, and that's perhaps the most unusual, was chocolate leg of lamb. And as a matter of fact, I liked it so much that I got a recipe for it and included it in the recipes portion of my book. It's on page 215. Here's the interesting thing about it. We normally think of chocolate foods as being sweet, but this is an example of how the cocoa of chocolate can be used in a savory dish. And I don't know how to describe what it tastes like, but it sort of gives an earthy, rich, sort of like red wine kind of flavor to the lamb. It's, it's really delicious. Most authors have a specific reason for writing a specific book. What was your reason for writing this book? I like to inform people of things they can do to improve their health and in particular to avoid illness in the future. And you know what, Don? When I started reading about the scientific research showing the health benefits that chocolate can have, I was amazed, not only because there are so many health benefits, but also because it's the opposite of what we would normally think. Most people think chocolate is candy, candy is bad for us, and so chocolate must be bad for us. And so I think it was this disparity in the facts compared to the fiction that caused me to want to write this nearly 400-page book. And on that line, I'd like to point out the most dramatic health effect that chocolate has, and that's on the blood vessel. There are scientific papers going back now nearly a decade that prove, I think, without any question that chocolate is a very powerful means of lowering our blood pressure and improving the health of our blood vessels. And what this does is it helps us, we believe, to decrease the incidence of heart attack, strokes, and other kinds of problems. And Don, heart attacks and strokes are the leading causes of death in the United States, cancer being, you know, following up. So this is very significant. Let me just give you an example of what I talk about in the book in this regard. 